this channel. I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. Remember who Neon is? And, you know, the guy who faked his death? Yeah, that guy. Apparently he wants to continue to gain clout, and I'll explain why. First, I want to show you a video that uh, he posted in his Twitter account without a caption whatsoever. It just has a video of him being apparently kidnapped. And you'll see why in a moment as to why he clearly had nearly everyone fooled. Hey, look whose shoes we got. Got his ass lacking. Come on, bro. Got his ass lacking. Hey, what size y'all want? Look at his shirt. Ripped all type of stuff, boy. You know not to come around here talking like that. Yeah. Hey, fuck me up, fuck me up. Hey, oh, we on his ass. Come on, bro. Take his glasses off. How much they gonna sell for? Come on, bro. YouTube money. We taking all of that. Hey, and we keeping your phone, boy. We taking the video. Right on your phone. You a bitch, right? I'm not playing with you. I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. Yeah, you a fucking bitch. Come on, bro. You know, you know, when you are getting kidnapped, one, you wouldn't post it on your Twitter account if you were kidnapped. Two, if you were the one that didn't post the the video that you were kidnapped on your Twitter account, then it has to be someone else taking over your phone. And three, well, I'll explain to you what the third thing is when we watch the one part of that clip again, because, well, you'll see. Hey, look whose shoes we got. Got his ass lacking. Come on, bro. Got his ass lacking. Hey, what size y'all want? Look at his shirt. Ripped all type of stuff, boy. You know not to come around here talking like that. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Oh, we on his ass. Come on, bro. Take his glasses off. How much they gonna sell for? Come on, bro. YouTube money. We taking all of that. Yeah. Uh, when I saw this video, I didn't believe it at first, but when I watched other YouTubers talking about it, then I had to look again because, you know, clearly, if you're gonna make a situation where you, you know, take his glasses off, you should at least break them, not give it back to the person you kidnapped. Hey, and we keeping your phone, boy. We taking a video right on your phone. You a bitch, right? I'm not playing with you. I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. Yeah, you a fucking bitch. Come on, bro. You know, see Neon's glasses? It's still intact. And if you looked at his chest, it doesn't have any bruises. Now, if you look at his face, it also doesn't have any bruises. What is Neon's game here? Because if he wanted to make his kidnapping believable, then he should have been beaten up by by the goon that kidnapped him, right? But no, they didn't beat him up. You know why? Because Neon staged it. I mean, if I would have believed it, his legs also would have been bruised. And that's how I would know that he was actually being jumped but he wasn't it was all made up because of his new tactics to get clout after his last attempt back in i think it was 2019 or 2018 probably 2019 of him you know dying when in fact he wasn't and he fooled everyone and Essentially, now, he did the same thing, fooling thing again, to the most gullible people on Twitter, who instantly believed that he was kidnapped, without actually looking deeper into the video itself. Some of these poor motherfuckers, whose tweets you're seeing in this video right now, they are a lost cause, because they fall for 
Neon's trick. And it worked. It worked so much because he now has made another video that happened days after his so-called kidnapping, which is fake. And, you know, just take a look at this. This past week has been the worst week of my life. I don't know what happened. I don't know why I didn't deserve any of this. Oh, quit the bullshit, Neon. We know you faked it. But it's been terrible. I'm a joke. Well, at least you're right about that. You are a joke. I am a disgrace to my community. I'm a disgrace to my race. I'm a disgrace to my religion. I'm a disgrace. I'm a fucking joke. I'm a joke. I'm a damn joke. Yes, Neon. You are a total disgrace to everyone. Glad you admit it. I don't know what to do anymore. I've been doing YouTube for five years and I've never once felt this way in my entire life to where I just never want to come back ever again and never want to show my face. I mean, I'll tell you what you should do. Make good content and stop pranking an easily gullible audience. I don't know what I'm going to do. I love you guys. I know no one in this world actually loves me. True. Everyone hates you. Rightfully so. But... It's all good, man. I love you guys deep inside, and I'm going to take this time to figure out what I want to do next. I don't know if you guys will ever see me again, and if you do... Nobody actually wants to see you. You should delete your entire existence on the platform, on the internet. Like, actually. I'll be a new man. I love you guys, man. Stay safe. And until next time, peace. There won't be a next time if you don't change your content. Stop tricking gullible people and start actually making entertaining content for change. Stop making these gotcha pranks on social media to viewers who would react to it. Stop doing these so social experiment pranks. They are worse when people like you exist that do them. And don't get me wrong, social experiment pranks like the snowman one is fine. That is harmless. But if you do a social experiment prank up to the point where you fake your death or now fake your kidnapping, then there's something mentally wrong with you. Now, in some instances, if you were kidnapped to at least say, well, something like this. Oh, you a bitch, right? I'm not wrong you say I'm a bitch, I'm a bitch. Yeah, you a fucker. Then yeah, it will be very, very believable because, to be honest, it might happen in real life. Yeah, it might happen in real life too, not just on TV shows movies or streaming services but it would be believable to say i'm a bitch i'm a bitch i'm a bitch if neon was again bruised beat up to a pulp but the fact that you ask three random people to pretend to be your kidnappers or people who just beat you up that is sad. That is a sad way to get people to believe that that you were beat up and jumped for it. I wish that actually happened to you for real because you cannot do that. You cannot make these stupid kinds of pranks and troll a very gullible amount of people. At the end of the day, prank sheesh, newt ma. If you want to be taken seriously, you cannot make videos such as faking your death and clickbait people for contracting COVID-19. You cannot do that at all. You should go back to MB2K content because that's what you're most likely good at. This trolling shit will only not give you popularity in the long term. Your YouTube career will soon die out quickly, especially if you're on kick now. Your kick career and YouTube career in general will die out. So I suggest you follow your own advice and do this.
I just never want to come back ever again and never want to show my face. And I'm going to take this time to figure out what I want to do next. And if you don't want to take your advice, take mine. Do not come back to YouTube or on any online platform until you change the way you make the content. No more trolling of any kind. If you do not change, karma will come and get you someday and it would be bad for you.